When I began composing this speech, I had a hard time choosing a painting. I had settled on Monet as my artist. However, Monet has so many interesting paintings, I had a hard time choosing between them. I finally settled on Impression Sunrise because of its iconic status and its clear connection to our studies in this course. The painting I chose to critique was done in 1872 by one of the pioneers of the Impressionistic movement, Claude Monet. This painting is actually what gave the name to the Impressionist movement. Done in oil on canvas, it's a fantastic representation of a harbor located in France. The painting was stolen in 1985, but was recovered five years later in 1990. Because of their use of brush strokes more to suggest the subject of the painting rather than to give it hard outlines, peers of the Impressionists used the term Impressionism in a derogatory manner. They believed that the Impressionists were painting their impression of a subject rather than what was actually before them. I find this opinion very narrow-minded. Allowing for the fact that these men were used to their own art, they still had no right to infringe upon the artistic freedom of Monet and the other Impressionists. Everyone sees the world differently. Who has the right to say that the Impressionistic view is not the one that most clearly represented what these men saw? Because they are more suggested than represented, the subjects of Impressionistic paintings lack a little detail. However, they easily make up for this with the details they do have, because these details are strong focal points in the painting. They are no less interesting to look at than any other painting. In Impression Sunrise, the actual sun rising is the most interesting part of the painting, which I suppose is fitting. The sun is the most vividly colored item in the painting. It's more darkly colored than the clouds and sky around it. The sun appears almost dark in comparison. Some people who have viewed the painting in person say that the sun appears to move around when you look at it. The darkened boat in the foreground, accentuated by the sunlight on the water, draws your eye to the center of the painting. The fact that the water blends effortlessly into the shoreline gives the painting a hazy appearance much like early morning fog. The buildings in the background, done in gray and black, feel sleepy. The town on the shoreline gives the painting an early morning feel. The people on the boat appear to be fishermen out before dawn trying to make a lucrative catch. My sister says the painting feels more like a sunset to her. I disagree. The painting just feels more like a sunrise to me, which might just be the power of suggestion because of the title, but I'd like to think not. I love this painting. The colors that Monet used mesh incredibly well. The way the colors are combined on the canvas make me feel as if I am looking out on the harbor for myself. I feel this painting is a fantastic example of the Impressionistic movement, and a painting wholly deserved of the honor of naming a whole movement.